When a safety car or virtual safety car is called, it's noted that some drivers will be able to get a free pit stop. We take for granted that safety car periods invite free or cheap pit stops. We expect a rush of cars into the pits, especially around people's pit windows. But why are pit stops so cheap under the safety car? Let's start by defining the cheapness of a pit stop. Coming into the pits for a change of tyres costs you a certain amount of time. This much should be obvious, the pit lane is much, much slower than the racetrack and the car does come to a stop, even if only for a blink of an eye in today's age of acrobatic pit crews. The time you'll lose taking a pit stop varies, but it's normally somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. So if a normal lap takes you 100 seconds at a track where a pit stop costs you 20 seconds, a lap with a pit stop will take 120 seconds. Simple enough. Now racetrack layouts vary, but for modelling purposes we're going to simplify our track into a circle. Everyone already thinks F1 is just driving around in circles anyway, right? As we said, we're going to say it takes drivers 100 seconds to complete a lap. And these little dots you see going around the circle are our cars. Okay, we're just going to use our imaginations for a minute. So, if the leading pink car pits, they will lose 20 seconds compared to all the cars that aren't pitting. So this is 20 seconds on our circuit. So all the cars inside this area will pass the pink car while it pits. That's a normal pit stop. And actually, as an aside, as the cars continue around, if we put the pit stop time ahead of the pink car, we can say that if anyone inside this area now pits, the pink car will come out ahead of them. This is what it means to be less than a pit stop behind someone. Okay, happy so far. So when a safety car is called out, there are two main reasons why a pit stop is so cheap and beneficial. Firstly, and this counts under virtual safety cars too to a smaller extent, as soon as the safety car is called, everyone slows down to a steady pace. For simplicity's sake, let's say that lapping under this reduced speed takes 150 seconds instead of the 100 seconds at race speed. Well, a pit stop still takes the same amount of time. It still takes you 20 seconds in this model, and 20 seconds is a much smaller proportion of the lap than it was at full speed. So now, only this one car will pass the pink car under reduced speeds. If the pink car is in roughly the right window to stop, then it pays to go for it. And here's a little analogy for you. Let's say you're at home and you promised your sister you were going to make them delicious spaghetti dinner when they come over. It takes 20 minutes to make dinner, but you haven't started yet and they're already 10 minutes away. You'll never make it in time. But if your sister gets stuck in traffic, it will take them 30 minutes to get to you. And now you've got plenty of time to make the delicious spaghetti dinner before they arrive. Now in this analogy, making dinner is taking a pit stop and the traffic jam is the safety car. You, you got that. You got that. Of course, if it's the right time to stop, then all the cars around pink will also stop as they too will be able to cut an advantage over the cars behind them. As such, at times almost everyone will stop and the advantages from pitting will be cancelled out throughout the field. At least in this case, no one loses out. And this leads to our second point. Let's take a look at the yellow car in second place behind pink. In normal conditions, if yellow pits first, they will end up 30 seconds behind pink. But if a full safety car is called, yellow knows that the gaps will all disappear once they line up behind the safety car end to end. So if yellow pits now, they'll end up right behind pink instead of 30 seconds back. Taking the pit stop has cost them absolutely nothing. Pink knows this, of course, and they'll pit too, otherwise yellow will end up right behind them on nice fresh tyres. Now the only worry pink might have is, what if yellow doesn't pit? What if it's in the last third of the race and the track is quite tricky to overtake on, so if pink pits and yellow doesn't, pink will then get stuck behind yellow once the safety car comes back in. Yellow is in a prime position here to do whatever pink doesn't do and pick a strategy to their own advantage. And that is the basis of getting yourself a cheap pit stop under the safety car or virtual safety car conditions. The idea is pretty simple, whether you think of it as dots going around a circle or making spaghetti for your sister. I don't even have a sister. I make spaghetti for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you enjoyed it and my other videos and my videos yet to come, please consider making a small sponsorship over at my Patreon. Every little penny helps as it means I have more time to focus on these videos for you.